About 20 years ago, I was talking to a prophet in uh, Florida, and I had mentioned to him, I said, uh, he's passed away since then. I mentioned to him, I says, uh, uh, God told me that um, if I would continue to preach his word, that he would take care of me in my old age. I, I, this is about 20, 25 years ago. And the prophet said to me, you better be sure you heard that from God. Well, he was right. He kind of doubted what, he, what, I, what I said I heard from God. But, um, and a lot of people did. But, you know, since this ministry started, I haven't had to ask you for money. There could be a day when God tells me to, to ask you for money. But I, 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 I am so sick of hucksters on television attaching the gospel with uh, contributions. I, I'm just so tired of that. I've told you that before. But, see, my attitude is that whatever God promised in here, the Bible, it's my promise to take home and to, it's my personal promise. You see, the word, our attitude toward the Bible, toward the word of God, determines the place that God holds in our daily life. The Word should always be the Father speaking to us directly. Uh, it, it should never be like words coming out of a, an ordinary book. I, I probably told you this before. But the Bible, I believe was written to take the place of Jesus, who was not physically here. So when I go to the Bible, I uh, it's almost like me calling up and saying, can I speak to you, Jesus, for just a second? And he says, I'll be right there. And then I, he comes here, and I read his words. It's as if he were sitting right in front of me. That's how much I revere this word. What is the Bible to you? I know you want to be healed. That's why one of the reasons that many people... Listen to this program, and I will pray for your healing, and you will be healed. But it is your responsibility to get into the Word and make it a part of your daily life. It says in John sixteen twenty seven, The Father himself loves you. It says in John 14, 23, if a man loves me, this is Jesus talking, if a man loves me, he will keep my words and my father will love him. And we will come to him and, and make our home with him. God's telling me right now, every time I lay hands on somebody, every time I pray for a sick person, he says to me, don't worry, Dean. I am going to be the power that you need. I am going to be the strength that you need. As long as I have this, <laughs> I have my retirement, 
I have power. I have happiness. I love you very much. If you need healing prayer, by all means, get in contact with me. Please uh, uh, write to me at dean.pepin at gmail.com. I love you very much. Bye-bye.